Everybody, welcome to another episode of the Weekly Dirt. And, and hey, we are live. We are live today for the Weekly Dirt. How awesome is that? Thank you all for showing up for this other episode, this special episode. We thought, you know what? Let's just do it live. We're just we can just do it live. So I tell you what, I have got with me a co-host, a co-host today. Let's welcome to the Weekly Dirt Tony with 5280 Adventures. How you doing, Tony? I'm doing well. How are you, DK? <laughs> awesome, man. Hey, thanks for coming along and being my co-host with me today. Uh, you know what? I I watch the Weekly Dirt every single week and never miss it. And then you reach out to me and say, hey, you want to co-host this thing? Heck yeah. I mean, co-hosting the Weekly Dirt. <laughs> Why not, <That's>, right? <laughs> some props, huh? That's pretty awesome. sweet. I appreciate that. Hey, thanks for being here. Who we got in the chat already? Let me. I haven't got my chat window up yet, so you go ahead and start calling some yeah. people out here. Hey, for, first one in, we had Down South Detecting. Zach's already in the house. Florida Rob, look at that. First one, second one in there. We got Tin Cup Tim. Tin Cup up, Tim. Tim. How's everything going? And then, of course, we had MG. MG was a little impatient. She wanted us to go live right away <laughs> before 3 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, you know this this uh, this whole uh, live stream uh, from OBS over to YouTube. It, like the past four streams, the the start of it's given me a little bit of a hiccup here and there, and I don't I don't understand what's going on. It's uh, I had to kind of reload, stop streaming, reload everything, and then that start streaming button appeared finally, and allowed me to uh, say go. Well, I'm glad we got it fixed. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Shoot. It, it, it wouldn't be a good episode of, of live, the Weekly Dirt Live, if we didn't go live. Hey, something always got to happen, right? Something has always got to happen if you're going it's live. Always away. But, hey, we're just here to have fun today, really talk about uh, some cool channels out there that uh, we were able to take a look at this week and uh, some cool videos we watched. You know, Tony and I both watch a lot of videos throughout the week. Uh, we're always texting each other, hey, do you see this? Do you see this? <laughs> and... Uh, and so, yeah, he, he really is a lot of help to me. You know, people always ask me, he's my, he's my, he's my real dirty secret. <laughs> he's my secret weapon. And people always ask me, how do you watch so many videos? You know, and I do, I watch a lot of videos, but so does Tony. And, and every now and then I'd be like, Hey man, what'd you see this week? Or, uh, even, uh, Emmy Lyman. Oh, Hey Mike, what kind of videos have you seen this week? You know what I mean? And <laughs> give me some heads up so I can go check stuff out. Cause you know, I get busy and, you know, sometimes there's not enough time to watch a ton of videos, but, you know, every Sunday we put out this weekly dirt. And, uh, yeah, this week we decided just to go live and interact with y'all, and I appreciate y'all coming here. MG, how are you doing? How things? How's how things going with you? Uh, who else? Said? Florida Rob, hey, thanks for coming. Uh, great channel. Have you ever seen Florida Rob's channel, Tony? Uh, I've checked it out from time to time. Um, yeah. I, I, there, there's, uh, I, I know Florida Rob finds some good stuff, though. Yeah, I know that much. Yeah, out there in Florida, he's always finding some great stuff on some of the uh, some of the beach fronts and um, uh, digs with a, a bunch of a bunch of guys that uh, they're all they're all after it all the time. Down south, detecting. Hey, bud, how you doing? That. Yeah, it looks like Zach says uh, the tear out's still going well. Yeah, 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 still producing. That's wow. awesome. So, Zach, are they just going down the street and just keep going like around the block or something? Or yeah. What did you see when you were there, Tony? Does that look like that? That's what they're going to do, or? Yeah, we couldn't really come up with much of uh, the exact plan that was going on, but uh, there was a small little section that we had missed originally, um, and then they had started on another spot, and we had caught it right when they had started on one end. Um, so right after I got back home, um, he texted me and said they went back the next couple of days later, or whatever, and uh, they had finished that whole strip already. So wow. it sounds like uh, you know they were they were tearing that out. Um, putting it back in and everything really quickly. Uh, you know, when, when you go to school or you go to work, I mean, you know, and this isn't your full-time gig, you know, you kind of miss out on those things. I mean, it could be one day and all of a sudden they've, they've tore out, you know, 20 feet and already paved back over it. So, wow. um, I know he's been a lot of time up there. He's getting back up to that, to that little town and, uh, 
he's finding some good stuff. I've gotten some text messages from him. He's tearing it up out there. Yeah. Some of his latest videos have been really cool. Dog, oh, yeah. is, dog is my co-pirate's in the There's house. Nathan. Yeah, he's out there driving. Hey, just keep your eyes on the road, bud. <laughs> just listen. Just listen to, to us. <laughs> Ken, Ken's not doing any magic tricks this time, so just, just all you have to do is just listen. Well, you never know. You never know. <laughs> Liz. I see you. Liz is here, too. Hey, Liz. Yeah. Awesome. Well, hey, thanks, you guys, for coming out and just uh, hanging out with us while we do this live version of the Weekly Dirt. Um it's going to, the format's going to basically be the same. It's just the only thing that's different. We're going to be able to interact with you, talk a little bit in between things. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I've got this this week off from work. It's been a long time since so I've had some di- some time off, and I've got this week off from work. And uh, plan on getting out and doing some digging, absolutely. Um, looking forward to it. Next week I've got some time coming off, so hopefully I finally get out and do some digging. Let's hope the weather holds. I Like what? We're yeah. looking like being in the 50s maybe. For, yeah, it's supposed to warm week. up. We had, uh, I mean, the last couple of days, we got snow down here, and uh, it, it's been cold. I mean, I, we had an ice storm yesterday. My whole driveway, I couldn't even get up my driveway with my car when I had come back home. Complete ice storm, and uh, but I know it's supposed to warm up into the 50s this week, so um, I might have to uh, take a sick day or something <laughs> we won't if, tell anybody just come visit you we might have to get out this week if it's gonna be in the 50s in november yeah come on man that's awesome <laughs> i just saw ed showed up ed detect our cr how you doing buddy yeah thin uh, blue diggers 5.0 that's nick right there what's up man thanks for thanks yeah, for joining yeah. us mr terry solomon he's noticing the grave the grave digger shovel over here yeah and mg was asking about that is that the red digger in the back there yeah that's just a little hand digger yeah. Look at that. That's There's nice. There's something else uh, for the arsenal there. Oh, it sounds heavy too. It, it's a good piece of mach- uh, <laughs> equipment right there. I'm excited to get that one all dirty. Yeah. Yeah, Terry Solomon, thanks for showing up, man. I uh, appreciate all your support. We're just uh, just talking, having a having a little bit of a break from the norm, you know. Uh, usually I produce these every Sunday at 3 and, uh, you know, decided to go live this week so we appreciate y'all coming along hey and if you're watching this on the replay if you're not live with us right now you're watching it on the replay later on after the show i'll go ahead and put down all the descriptions into all the links in the descriptions of everyone we're going to feature this week i'll also probably put some time breaks in there so you can fast forward and go through to find uh your way through different announcements or through different uh channels that we have prepared uh for you this week but uh hey look at that Gypsy with zero discriminations in the house. Thor's treasure. Thor's Four. treasure, all the way from Scotland. How you doing, buddy? Uh, Gypsy, good to see you. Thanks for coming and uh, checking out our live edition of the Weekly Dirt. Uh, just checking out. Say, hey, M.A. Lyman's in the house. We got a whole bunch of people here. This is awesome. Awesome. That's great. Well, like. Are you ready to get to the uh, to the first clip here? <clears throat> yeah, sure. Let's, I was. Uh, let's end all the suspension and, and get to the first clip, huh? Well, why don't you go ahead and uh, and talk about our first clip? Yeah. All right. Hey guys, the first clip. Um, it's a uh, it, it's a new channel that I just found uh, not too long ago. Um, but I tell you what, just because they're new doesn't mean that they don't have good quality stuff. This first clip is coming to you from VA for Virginia History Detectors. If you guys haven't checked that out, you make sure you get over to their channel. But VA History Detectors, let's see what they found this week. It looks like a round ball to me. It is metal. Landon is coming up. Yeah, it's definitely a round ball. It's a honker. Nice big old round ball. Cool. We we'll say it's going to be a good day. I opened the hole and it was just sitting there like that. Nice uh, drop three ringer. All right, I'm back at my uh, field hospital permission. I actually just got permission to the modern house, which is next door. I may have another piece of big brass here. That could possibly be a breastplate. Um, but I can see that ugly lead on the back yep I, I i can see the the wing this doesn't happen okay this isn't supposed to happen three weeks in a row it's a breastplate it's a breastplate holy crap 
It's a breastplate. Oh my god. Yeah, you can like barely see that. Yeah. Not sure what it's gonna be. It almost looks foreign. I can see writing on it. Oh man, it's huge. Now what have we here? Definitely foreign. It's big. It's like bigger than looks like slightly bigger than a quarter. 1915. Pretty. Beautiful big silver coin. <laughs> I love today. Big brass and big silver. Can't beat that. Awesome. Wow, that was awesome, man. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Virginia history detectors, right? So I have a confession. So we live out here in Colorado. We don't get a lot of Civil War history out here, believe it or not. I mean, who would have thunked it, right? But so you find you find some Civil War round balls, which are absolutely amazing. I love those little little round balls. You, you know, you can see the the the, the nipple on it. You can see how, you know it being made. I mean, it's just incredible to me. We got three ringers. We find a breastplate. Are you serious? <laughs> a Civil War breastplate. A breastplate. That is just amazing. What? And then on top of it, I mean, not only a silver coin, we've got a, a silver coin from the Netherlands. Yeah. Like, what is the story behind that Netherlands coin? All of a sudden, it just shows up in Virginia. Yeah, I mean, that's amazing. A beautiful coin, too. Lots and lots worth, of uh, detail worthless. on that. Just amazing. Yeah, VA, very, very VA cool. History Detective. If you guys uh, haven't seen that channel before, like I said, later after this stream, I'll go ahead and put the description down. I didn't want to put it ahead of time and then give you guys all a sneak peek of what channels we we're going to feature this week, but... After this, be sure to check back and hit their link and head on over to that channel and check it out. Uh, this I was looking at some of their other videos. This is really great. You know, yeah. I, I didn't know until you – I actually didn't have yeah. them subbed until you told me about them. And yeah. I, went, I went ahead and subbed right away because they had some great, great videos. I can't remember how I, uh, how, how I got turned on to that channel. And like I said before, it wasn't uh, too long ago that I found them. But I tell you what, the, the, qu the quality of those videos is amazing. The fines, top notch. I mean – just insane, yeah. insane, and I, oh my gosh! I just to find some anything Civil War to me is just just blows my mind away, right? Yeah, yeah of course. You like, cause like you said, <laughs> around here we're not finding too much. I'll tell you, no, no, not not around here. Hey, everyone in the chat, let me know how our audio's doing. Can you hear both Tony and I well? Is one of us uh, over the top of the other? Let me know. I can see a graph here, but uh, it's always better hearing from you guys. It looks like we had some people sneak in on us while we were watching ah. that clip. Yeah, check this out. We got uh, Marty is nuts about digging. I just saw Marty popped in here, huh? Awesome. Welcome, Marty. Jim, Jimmy Crossbones. We got digging with Deej. Look at Deej is in the house. Hey, Deej, how you doing? Awesome. The Divi Detectorist. Boy, I discovered their channel a little earlier on a few months ago. And, yeah, they, they're a great channel, too. You need to check them out. Uh, the Divi Detectorist. Awesome. Hey, did you see uh, Darnell popped in here, too? I did. I saw him a little bit earlier. Uh, Darnell, welcome. Thanks for joining us here on the live edition of the Weekly Dirt. We appreciate it for sure. He's been tearing it up too. He's been out there with that oh my gosh. amphibio and, uh, yep. and, and yep. Yeah, amazing, amazing machine. Looks like great, great stuff. Yeah, and uh, <clears throat> Jimmy Crossbones, he goes out and he detects with Florida Rob a lot. Uh, so yeah, they're they're digging partners here and That's there. That's awesome. They're always out on that party beach, boy. I tell you. Can you imagine the kind of stuff that gets left behind on those oh. party beaches out there in Florida? No, it's insane. Yeah. And it, the, the, the cool thing about it is it continues to recycle itself as well. Yeah, it does. You know? You right. know, yeah, it's awesome. never never hunted out. You just wait a weekend. And, exactly. and yeah. <laughs> wait a day. You don't even have to wait a week. My I, gosh. I used to have family in Fort Lauderdale when I was married before, and uh, we used to uh, go out there all the time. They owned a <clears> – <throat> my family uh, – my ex-wife's family owned the – days in right there on a1a right there in fort lauderdale so we used to stay there and just see all the comings and goings at that beach and just craziness you know that's awesome i haven't done too much beach hunting you know i think yeah you and i hitting those swim beaches yeah. just only a couple of times i've gone and hit beach but yeah yeah well i mean just at our, our little reservoirs here in colorado that's the that's the best <laughs> beach hunting that we can find huh yeah that's about <laughs> it and it's not the highest quality sand out there either <laughs> right it's not like they have in Florida. Right. Hey, Crispy's Kiwi Adventures in the house. Welcome, welcome. Hey, thanks for showing up for the live version of the Weekly Dirt Show we put on. So I appreciate you coming along. Gog's Go Detecting is in the house. 
Awesome. I did want to point out something real quick. MG sure. had said in the chat here. Did you notice anything different? MG picked up on it. Hey. What? <laughs> what? What? What's going on? You want wear... a wardrobe change? Look you... at that. Are you like Reba McIntyre? What's going on here? <laughs> you don't want me singing. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. A little bit of a wardrobe change. I don't know where that came from. How does she notice that, and I didn't notice it? She, you know, actually, MG watches us pretty closely. Gee, she, MG, MG's got, <laughs> MG's got, we're like right there. I know. <laughs> K, what, awesome. K, what's in the house? K, boy, you've been tearing it up. You've been winning a lot of contests lately. I've been seeing her yeah. all over the place. Uh, just tearing it up. NEPA history and archaeology search. Awesome. Thanks for showing up, man. You guys go check out that channel when you guys get a minute, too. Hey, that's an awesome channel absolutely absolutely it's it's hard you know it's so hard man i watch all these videos and these channels yeah. it's like i very rarely come across a channel where i'm like man <laughs> you know what i mean everyone oh, does everyone's doing their best out there to put out these great videos and they all do something different you know some people show live digs a lot some people just show their finds a lot and mm -hmm. uh some have really great production quality so it's it's a it's a lot of it's a lot of uh, a lot of difference uh out there between the channels i, I dig it man I really that's, do that's what I, that's what I really like the most is that it seems like every channel is unique and it, it isn't trying to, you know, mooch off of somebody else's idea or anything like that. They, it is what it is, and, and I absolutely love that. And I encourage everybody just to be who they are. I don't care what what the, you know. You get some bad ba bad comments or whatever. Um, you know what? Be yourself. Do what you want to do. Document your finds. Put it out there for you know. You're not going to please everybody all the time. Um, and, and you, you know, I know you uh, the same way, DK, you, you pick out little things from every single channel that you're like, wow, that is really cool. I like how they did that or how they, how they transitioned into this, or, you know, that's an unbelievable find or whatever. Right. You know, I, I mean, it just consumes me with how many great, great, uh, metal detecting channels are out there and yeah. it's nonstop. I mean, you can watch, you can watch this non 24 hours a day, nonstop. Yeah, and the people, the people just have been amazing. Absolutely. Like the people I've come to get to know and, and yep. see their interaction within the community, not just on my channel, but other people's channel. You know, you and I both go along to other live streams. We see that happening and we, we get yep. involved with them. We interact with them and you, you really kind of get to know, you know, kind of what people are about. Hey, and I'll tell you what, this next channel I'm going to feature is just like that. I'm telling you what, if you guys have never been over to Digging with Deej, as a matter of fact, she is in the chat. And Deej if you is just, in the house. Yeah, so if you guys want to check out her channel, there's three little dots right next to her name. If you just kind of hover your mouse over her name, on the right-hand side will be three little dots. You click on the three little dots, you go to channel, and you could go there and you could just uh, sub her channel right away. That'd be awesome. But yep. she is always so supportive in this community in various little various little ways. You know, she's always very sends she always sends me little emails. Hey, man, you know, words of support, giving me heads up on things that maybe I, I wasn't aware of. I should check out. So I really appreciate it. And I was watching a video of hers. She got together with your buddy, Don. Right here. Look at Detection this. Detection Connection. And look Detection at that shirt. Connection. She was on the way through, and she hooked up with him and said, hey, let's go digging together. He said, let's go. And he's Great. the guy He's the Great guy time. where you, you found your two real with him. I did. I did. Uh, D Don is awesome. And you'll see in this clip, I mean, where Don puts Deej and what they find and what they do is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. They're in a great area. And I, I was so happy when Don told me that he was going to dig with Deej. Um, absolutely amazing. Just so, so much fun. Let's check this out. Let's watch it. Digging with Deej. Check this out. Welcome to Digging with Deej. This is Don from Detection Connection. Hi guys. And we are doing a collaboration hunt on my way home from Maryland. Oh yeah, it's a coin. Oh, that's gotta be a war nickel. All right, let's see if that's a... You think? Oh yeah, with that color, that's gotta be a war Oh yeah, that's silver. That's a is there a P or a something on the back? 
not even to it yet. There's a pee on there. Awesome. Congratulations. I'm not sure what it is, but it does have writing on it. And of course my phone doesn't want to focus. There we go. I can't tell what it says. I got something round. Roundness in the hole. I'm not sure what it is. It doesn't feel very heavy. Right underneath there will be your date. And, uh, oh my gosh, I thought it looked like, like a, a largey. It's a Bank of Montreal token. Ha half penny. Half penny. It's a Concordia. It says Concordia, 1844 half penny. In really good shape. I don't know if it's focusing for sure or not. It's starting to get dark here. Yay, my oldest coin to date. Wow, way to go, Deej. Awesome. Bank of Montreal, half penny. Unbelievable. Shoot. How awesome Unbelievable. was that? Unbelievable. Amazing. Hey, what year was that for, again? Because uh, I got my volume down. I didn't listen to it, and I forgot what year that was. Deej, you want to put it in uh, Put it in chat what year that half penny was? What an amazing discovery. And again, Don with Detection Connection. He's like <laughs> the good luck charm. He's like the Buddha. We've got to like go just hang out with him and be around him, and we're going to start finding stuff. That guy, I tell you, he is, uh, uh, you know, you were talking about kind of, you know, the, the people that you find in, in this uh, in this community and stuff. Don's just one of those guys. I, I'm serious. When I was out with him um, and he told me that Deej was coming through, I was so, so excited to be able to see, you know, what, what Deej could find, what they would go out and find and things like that. I just know how much fun I had. I was so excited for Deej just to get out there and to find, like, I mean, just the the, the half – the half penny uh, to find that spoon handle, the war nickel. I mean, yeah, that was the pretty cool. point for her. I mean, Don sent me a little text afterwards after Deej was there and said she found the oldest coin she'd ever found. I was so super excited for her. Yeah. How wow. cool is that? Such a great video. I bet you want to go back, right? And get back on them fields. I know that when I watch Tony's video and now I've watched your <laughs> video, I need a trip to Ohio, man. Who wants to go with me? Come on, let's go to Ohio. Uh -huh. Shoot. Yeah, no, those are good guys um, for sure, and I'm I'm so so happy for Deej. Yeah, um, I know I'm sure she was grinning from ear to ear that whole. Time. You could just hear it. You could just hear it in her voice. All right, just awesome, awesome hunt for her. I'm so excited. Hey, you got a different shirt on again. What now? Now we're rocking stealth diggers. All right, stealth diggers in the now house. We're rocking the stealth diggers. <laughs> Look oh, at that, man. Huh? Huh? So hey, I saw that. Uh, um who's your hillbilly popped in oh yeah 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 welcome sneaking in on us huh in. Didn't what's even up there hillbilly out. how you doing all right adventures in dirt fishing in the house how about that? Awesome. i like that name adventures yeah. in dirt fishing that huh? is that is awesome welcome to the show <laughs> thanks for checking out our live stream edition of the weekly dirt here hey, and for those of you that are just joining us the weekly dirt's a series i put on every sunday at 3 p.m mountain where i'll bring you the best of my metal detecting world this week you know people sometimes uh miss that part you know really i'm just showing you kind of things that interest me and kind of i've seen this week uh in my own little world and hopefully you enjoy it most people have so far i appreciate your support but i always get those messages you know hey you know so and so you know over in england found something way better than those <laughs> things you showed this week and that's always going to be the, the point you know what i mean but i just kind of give you a little wrap up at the end of the week a little compilation video so you if you don't have a lot of time to watch a bunch of videos hey at least you can come over to the weekly dirt and catch a couple of two minute clips of a few channels maybe you discover a new channel maybe you'll catch some finds maybe you didn't see so that's really the whole uh thing about the weekly dirt i appreciate all you guys come along and supporting us and tuning in to the live stream that's awesome hey check it out i see green mountain metal detecting just Look at that. Us. Brad, brad showed up brad's brad's representing brad how you doing hey how'd that uh <laughs> Uh, it was so funny. He, uh, if, if you haven't seen it, head on over to Green Mountain Metal Detecting. He showed this kind of live shot of him rowing in this boat. <laughs> Did you see that, Tony? I didn't see that one. No, no, no. And he's like, oh, this is a bad <laughs> idea because <laughs> it was getting pretty rough and he had quite a ways to go. <laughs> Hopefully everything went well, and the fact that you're showing up here in chat makes me feel a lot better, Brad. Yeah, yeah. Makes me feel a lot Probably better. got back home, not stuck in a boat. That's good. Awesome. Tag Team Recoveries, welcome. Hey, Tag welcome, Team. Welcome.
Great channel, great channel. Tag Absolutely. tag team recoveries. Live uh, to t- <laughs> live to tell the tale. <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. Well, hey, I appreciate you guys uh, coming along and checking us out. We're just chatting. We're just chatting, showing some clips. Same format as the normal weekly dirt, but we got more time to say hey to each other and act. Like- I do like the interaction, though. You know, I mean, we can you can bust out the 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 clips and everything. And and I I was gonna tell you, you know, in in terms of what the weekly dirt does, I can't tell you how many times you turn me on to other channels that I had no idea about. Oh, cool. Absolutely amazed. Um, the things that, that, that you can uncover, um, you know, there's some things that I know that I've sent you that you didn't know about. And there's so much out there guys. And I appreciate all of the support that, that this entire community gives each other. Uh, I know I just, I just, uh, uh, subbed over to adventures and dirt fishing. Yep. I had never seen that channel before. I just went over there yep. not even subbed to them yet. So guess what? Guess what I'm going to do after the Broncos game? I'm going to watch some videos from Adventures in Dirt Fishing. Yeah, I can't awesome, wait to man. see. I can't wait to check out that channel. So that is awesome. Yep, yep. And uh, I just did the same. So awesome. Two new subs for you there, bud. <laughs> <laughs> we'll check it out after uh, after the show today. Yes. And check it out. We'll uh, we'll 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 uh, we'll give you a look. Absolutely. Very, very cool. All right. So we got coming up next, Tony. Well, um, first one into the chat today, we had Zach over at Down South Detecting, right? This week, Zach, I mean, not just this week, Zach is putting out some quality uh, clips uh, every single week. If you guys haven't checked out Down South Detecting, you have to go over there. Um, I know I know, Zach was in the chat earlier. I think he's still here. Um, but this week, um, he went back out to the courthouse. If you guys are keeping up on, the, on all the, the videos that he had, back out to that courthouse, and it is still – producing still producing i can't believe this right so down south detecting let's check out and see what down south found this week guys jim and i are out today uh we probably shouldn't be out today it's like below freezing oh man this could be something old barber oh oh dude look at the condition it's in it looks like it's in it's nice and thick yeah it's 07 oh my gosh look at the condition it's in it's nice and thick i think i see it it's a <coughs> Silver quarter. Sweet. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's a seated dude. Are you? Yeah, it's me? a seated. All right, guys, we got some water, so we're gonna find out what the date is here. Holy cow! 1876. Wow. Oh my gosh. I can't believe this. This is awesome. Holy cow. Just amazing. It's silver. Looks like another silver quarter. Barber quarter, you see it there? Yeah. How's that? 1895. I just, I can't believe this. Another high tone, only about three inches down. It's another silver quarter. Let's see what we got. Standing Liberty. Oh man. (laughs) Zach, great job. Are you serious? Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, going back to that dang courthouse, at, at what point does that courthouse just say, okay, guys, I've had enough of this. You have cleaned <laughs> me out. But, you know, you, you'd figure by this time that they wouldn't be able to find any more silver, right? So they pull out. SLQ, we've got a barber quarter, seated quarter. Seated quarter. Oof. Seated quarter, right? 1876 seated quarter for Zach. Unbelievable. And it just keeps um, producing. Just it, Every time that they're there, um, it's just insane. Absolutely insane. Um, have, you, have we got time for a quick story about Zach? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. So some of you guys, I, 
I didn't get any video when I was out there, um, unfortunately, because I didn't find anything. But but Zach did have a video um, that I was in when I went out to visit him. And I, I'll, I'll tell you one thing about Zach. Zach, he can find stuff that just blows me away. Like his his skills with that machine that he's got is just insane. And I tell you, um, just like we were talking about earlier, people that just kind of open arms up to to everybody else in the community. I contacted Zach and he's like, absolutely. Let, let's go. I'm going to, you know, uh, we'll hook up and, I, and I, there's some spots I wanted to go to. Well, he doesn't even hold back. You know, it's like, oh, I'll take you to a, you know, a park or something that I've hunted and there's nothing left, you know, that kind of thing. Zach picks me up. I jump into his car. And what's the first thing he says? There's the oldest house in this neighbor in this neighborhood right here. I've been trying to get on. Let's go see if they're home. Wow. We get over there, right? I mean, this is his 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 ultimate house in this entire city this small town that we're in and he takes me and he we get permission and he lets me get in there with him wow what kind of i mean you know hospitality does this does this guy give you right right he five minutes into it not even five minutes into it what does he find he finds a silver ring he is insane the things that he can he can pull out the things that he can find absolutely unbelievable and that courthouse that is that is a uh a sweet little spot that he stumbled onto. That's awesome, man. It's insane. Zach, great, great channel. Congratulations, Zach. That really, you're on Down some South hot Detecting. Stuff Make sure you guys check out Down South Detecting. Um, I tell you, once I found uh, Zach on that channel, I went back and started all the way at the beginning of all of his videos, and the, the just the 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 finds, the coins, everything that Zach finds, absolutely amazing. Just yeah. a great, great person, great detectorist, um, and great quality videos. I mean, he's got some some awesome uh, drone footage and um it's just amazing you guys have to check that out that's awesome yeah and, and how you do that if you want to check out anybody's channel that's in chat here remember just go to their name look to the right you'll see three little dots click on those three little dots there'll be a, an option to take you to their channel or go to their channel at least on pc it is i don't know what's like on the mobile so you have to check that out but yeah check them out down south detecting great channel i've been enjoying watching his vids he's another one of these channels where i could probably feature him every week <laughs> you know what i mean there he's the really on some that, hot yeah. stuff but the things that he puts out i mean every time that video comes out he, uh and he's also got an incredible uh instagram uh page oh, yeah? as well so if you guys aren't are over there um you'll kind of get uh um some little insight as to maybe some upcoming videos and stuff but the the pictures oh gosh just makes you salivate awesome insane just great great guy great hey channel. I saw J three B digging Canada showed up in the chat that's awesome what's, what's up, up J three B I see a, a moderator Mike Lyman put up the link to uh, to Zach's channel that's awesome thank you Mike Thanks, appreciate Mike. you doing that thank you so much yeah and I saw Pete Floyd from Ohio hey, Pete Floyd dropped in that is Pete Floyd Trauma there he is in the dirt we were just talking about Ohio Pete and we got to come out there <laughs> yeah we got to go visit Ohio I tell you DK what part of Ohio are you in Pete are you anywhere near uh Don over detection connection It'd be cool to see those two hook up huh that'd be kind of cool collaboration that would be very very cool yeah um, I know Don's kind of in the middle of the state towards the middle okay um, I don't right. want to give out the town that he's in but uh right. um but Don Don hunts everywhere I mean he he he. We when when him and I went uh, a couple months ago, or actually a couple weeks ago, we were all the way up in northern um, Ohio. So he he travels. Looks like Pete's in Urbania. Okay. I'm not sure how far that is from Don, but uh, yeah, I don't know where that's at. Awesome. Great, man. Well, hey, thank you all for joining us today on this live edition of Weekly Dirt. I really appreciate it. You know, going into 2019, we're going to probably try to do a lot more of these. Um, you know, it won't be every week for sure. But if I can try and do one one a month or, or one every other month, kind of make it a special deal like this, I definitely want to start doing a lot more of them. Uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, and I'm open to uh, – I'm open to uh, – People out there, if they'd like to be a co-host of the show, uh, get a hold of me. You can email me at DK at Adventures in Dirt, and uh, the link will be down below to that email address. And just send me a message and say, hey, I might be interested in doing that. Let me know. And we could we could work it out and see if it's something that would work for both of us. That would be kind of cool. Um, I don't know if you have to do all the costume changes that my co-host <laughs> is doing today. My gosh. I don't know. I'm trying to. I'm trying to keep up here. It sounds like like we're halfway through the weekly dirt, and I'm already getting replaced. <laughs> God, I better pick up my game here. Would you guys please, please hurry up and contact me? I need a new co-host, please. 
no. <laughs> Tony, man, you're great. You know, you and I have been digging together for a while now, and yeah. I really appreciate you coming along and helping me out with the, the weekly Anytime. dirt for sure. You know that. We always have a good time with it. So, Absolutely. Um, great, great time. Gypsy will be in Denver, Colorado in January. Well, guess who you're having dinner with yes. and, and hanging out with and – and everything else, Gypsy. <laughs> yep, I'd yeah. love to meet up with Gypsy again. She's a she's an absolute riot. Oh that, my gosh, that's awesome. Are you coming out for that outdoors uh, that outdoors expo? I think I I think I saw that. That's uh, uh, somebody from Watts. The guy from Watts was talking about yeah. that. He yeah, yeah. Uh, was going to have a booth or something there at the outdoor expo, and and may have Gypsy come along. All right. Perfect. That's why she's coming. Awesome. I, I would imagine that would be it. So yeah, make sure you guess, uh, yeah, make sure you get a hold of us and let us know when you're coming to town yeah. and, and, and when you're going to be about. We'd we'd love to get get a get a get a hold of you and, and get together with you for sure. For sure, for sure. You you will have to uh, make make a trip out of it. And yeah, digging or not, just you know socialize. Oh, or whatever. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Great times. Awesome. Finders keepers. Look at that. Finders Hello, friends from Finders keepers. What's up, Finders keepers? Join in the chat. All right. Hey, what's uh, what's everyone in chat? What are you guys swinging these days? What do you uh, what do you swing? What are you swinging these days, Tony? Do you change things up, or what's the kind of uh, your? Well, so when I was out in Ohio, um, I was using the AT Pro, uh, and that's actually what I found the Real with. But uh, I did try the AT Gold a little bit. Um, I've got a, a big coil for that. The uh, the Nell Thunder is what I got for the for the Gold to see if that could change it up a little bit and i tell you it's it's like trying to uh, learn a brand new machine even though it's still a garrett a garrett uh, machine man changing up the coil changing up the machine it's like trying to trying to learn to walk again so wow. um i was thinking next time we go out to some fields and everything uh i'm gonna have to bring that out uh and kind of show you show you the difference between the pro and the gold with the different coils yeah that'd be awesome what about you you still uh you know, I've been doing the Patriot, the Technics yeah. Patriot for, for a long time. Going into 2019, I really need to stop ignoring my T2, <laughs> and I need to show that thing some love. So I'm going to start swinging the T2 this year and just uh, get my head back around it and see, yeah. see what it'll give me. But, I'm uh, interested to see that thing in, in action for sure. I've heard fantastic things. Yeah. Let's just check chat. Anybody else uh, brave enough to put what they're swinging in chat? <laughs> Oh yeah, we got a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, we uh, should start in detector wars yet in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. You dummy, why are you swinging that? You should be swinging I know, this. I know. Uh, Lyman just uh, he just got his his Knox eight hundred. Oh, now. look at that. Yep, yep. Mike, See? how you liking that? How you liking that eight hundred? Sol Terry Solomon's got the six hundred Knox. All right, Terry, way to so, go. Hey, I'm not gonna lie here. I know that I've pressed Garrett for a long, long time, and I don't. I'm not sponsored by Garrett, but. <laughs> I, I I did check out on Amazon how much the cost of that 800 was. Did you? I did. <laughs> I I told the wife. I said, "Oh my gosh, you know the uh, this this knock this Equinox 800." She goes, "What is that? A gun?" <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Which is my other hobbies. <laughs> yes, it is, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I was just waiting for the answer. You don't need another gun. You don't need another detector. You don't need another this. Yeah. You don't need another that. But I don't know. I'm. I was thinking about it. I was thinking about, you know, maybe we'll see what 2019 yeah. brings. We'll see. Yeah. Thor swinging the Tesoro Cortez. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I am not, I am not familiar with that one at all. Yeah. Um, Finders Keepers got another F75 and he still loves it. That's awesome. That's a great machine. Yes. 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 Um, I know Darnell's been checking out some uh, different machines. He's actually swinging yeah. the Amphibio Multi, the Multi, the Multi right now. He was mm -hmm. doing the Multi Cruiser for quite a while, and yeah. and now I think he's probably hooked on that Amphibio. Did you happen to see that video this week from Chill Bill, where he no. pulled out that ten thousand dollar new Nocta? Uh, Darnell, you probably know the name of what's that model? That ten thousand dollar model actually shows the three dimensional of what your coil is oh, swinging man. over, and uh, it actually shows a, a graph, <clears throat> shows a graph, and shows you where your coil is hit, so you can see if you're missing oh. grit, gritting any of the any of the land. Yeah, if you guys get a chance, go check out Chill Bill and watch that ten thousand dollar. I'm writing it down uh, right now. Machine. <laughs> Chill Bill. That's right. I'm going to watch that. That sounds pretty sweet. <laughs> you know, technology's moving that direction. I mean, right. my gosh. Right. 
something to make us more lazy where we like, yeah, just, you know, right. like a, like a, you know, we'll just sit there with a screen in some lounge chairs and we'll have like That's one right. of those little robot vacuums. What is it called? Oh. Those little robot vacuums that go around. Oh yeah. They, uh, yeah. Yeah. I know what you mean. <laughs> what do they call yeah. those things? Absolutely. Or you'll have a, a little RC car or something with the, you know, and, yeah, right. <laughs> and you just, you just sit there. You don't have to walk anywhere. You just run it like this. Oh yeah. Well, sweet. Put a shovel on it, a big scoop on it or something. <laughs> yeah, to dig it for you, too. There you go, Florida Rob. That's what he needs down there in the sand, right? That's it. That's what he needs. You know, I <laughs> saw something. I forget if it was a picture or a video one time, but talk about being down in the sand. Somebody had two Garrett carrots, and he had them taped together end to end <laughs> on a stick, like a rake. And like he was rake. yeah, and he was just raking it into the sand and just waiting for that beep 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 beep. <laughs> hey, and that's how he was detecting. Pretty cool. What's up, Gaffelbab? Gaffelbab's in the house. Look hey, at deep digger duo. Oh, hey, how's it going there, bud? That's awesome. Hey, thanks for showing up. We were just talking about him the other day on uh, when I was doing the uh, digger spotlight with uh, yeah. Plugmaster Ford. We were talking about when I go up there to visit him, we may just keep heading on up and uh, go see if we can see. Uh, old deep digger duo up there i've got some uh i've got some you know my plan is i got this trip planned right? i don't know how many have heard about it but i got this trip planned to go <laughs> chase down some uh i've done a lot of uh, uh genealogy research over the past five or six years and but i've never been to any of the sites where any of my ancestors have been well there's fulton county illinois is a place that uh <clears throat> a lot of my king family came from and had some land there and i'd just like to go there and check it out maybe check out some of the cemeteries but then also down towards in missouri where uh mike uh, mike and jeff are so yeah. it'd be a really good trip i think it would uh, fill two purposes for me right let me do right. some digging and right. then let me do some exploring and some learning so that would be awesome uh, i had no idea that you had this plan i've never heard of this before my gosh this is brand new to me <laughs> now the plan i talked to you about was when we head up towards uh, new hampshire and that's we, right and we start away all the way down the coast and head in towards pennsylvania we've got this whole metal detecting road trip plan that's right wouldn't that be great you know but, what and the, and the more people that we make contacts with this trip just gets longer and longer it does we gotta <laughs> we gotta find a way to get over to scotland and england and unbelievable crazy I tell you, if we could take a month straight, I mean, it would just be so much fun just to go from town to town, yeah, channel to channel, check in with people. Oh my gosh, could you? I, I can't even fathom what that would be. Like. The YouTube tour that'd be. That would be pretty. <laughs> you sweet. know what I mean? Digging with oh, tubers, yeah. two tubers across the state. That'd be awesome. Someday, man. Someday. That's right. That's right. <laughs> but hey, you spoke a minute about, about Florida, and I want to talk to you guys about a channel out of Florida. Um, you know, I was watching uh, Jimmy Crossbones, who's out of Florida. And I was watching his channel. He was in the chat here here a minute ago, too. And uh, I was watching him dig with a partner of his called Florida Rob. <clears throat> so I started watching Florida Rob's channel. And you guys really need to go check it out. I know he's in the chat. I saw him here a minute ago. Yeah. You guys need to check out his channel. He's finding some pretty incredible stuff, just some really cool pieces of Americana uh, and just the kind of stuff. I, you, all, you you guys know you've heard me say about I like tokens and I like all kinds of stuff like that. Well, Florida Rob this week, he was on it. And I'm going to show you a clip from his channel right now. Check this out this week from Florida Rob. Watch this. Hey, I'm out today hunting up. A lot that there was a house on it uh, that was built in somewhere in the 20s or 30s. First, really cool find, and man, I'm thrilled with that. It's one of those old lead soldiers. Look at that. It's real, real heavy. Still got the flesh tone and the and the green helmet on it. That is awesome. All right, that already made my day right there. All right, let me see what else I can find. Another cool little old find. Already cleaned it off. Look at this, that little buckle. It's got some age to it. Look laying in the dirt right there. It's an eyeball fine. It's an old one. Okay, just popped me another target. Right here, oh, get in the camera. Looks like an old button. It is an old button, look at that. It's fairly old. And uh, look at that. That's. This camera won't focus up real good, but I'll get a close-up later. But that's an older button with a nice, ornate design in it. Hey, Lonnie just walked over to me with a little find. Let's take a look at it. That's, that's awesome. It's an old little, like, milk uh, 
What do you call those? Creamers. The creamers? Yeah. Yeah, that's something different. Love finding these old tokens. That one says, I see the word Pacific on it. We have found some different tokens out here, which is so cool. I just dug a police badge of some kind. Now, I'm sure it's a kid's, but you can see the eagle at the top. And it says, looks like it says police on it. Look at that. Heavy, too. It says police right there at the bottom. Is there Orlando at the top? No, junior police. Ah. So it is it's very heavy. I'm not sure what it's made out of. If it's maybe brass, I don't know. But look at that. I love stuff like that. Wow, way to go, Rob. Way to go. Great, great finds. Shoot. Little toy soldier. That thing was pretty cool, right? Little little figurine like that. Yeah, and it's, so, it, it, so cool. He found a lot of things I wasn't even able to show in this little yep. clip. You know, I pull these little clips together. I'm not able to show very much of the video. So, you guys, if you like the clips you see, you really should go over and watch the whole video. But he found some cool tokens while he was there. Yep. Uh, boy, and uh, that just just an amazing amount of different finds that he, he pulls out. Uh, on this video and all of his other videos are pretty cool also for sure yeah as well as with jimmy crossbones too yeah yeah they, they both do and there's a couple others also they that they that he digs with over there um but yeah they yeah. just do a great job and in great weather you know we're here we're sitting here freezing you know with three layers <laughs> of clothing on digging in cement trying to uh pull up a find and right. he's, he's over there just tearing right. it up yeah well, there, you, there he is you're down in florida what can you say right yeah you say and i see i see mike lyman says he's dug that same exact badge what Did are the he? odds of the, that the junior police badge yeah yeah that's so awesome. cool that is awesome i love that everybody can share these different finds and all of a sudden you know somebody says uh oh you know i found that before i've researched before i've never seen that before i mean it's just so cool yeah that is that's a really cool aspect of this community is you know you'd be states apart and find the same thing and Yes. Like, look at Eric down there at uh, uh, AT Relic Pro, uh, a little huh? further south of us. Yes. He finds he finds that detective badge. It was like, yep. Oh, that it, that was incredible. And then the research he did, he was able to find like where it came from and and you know what they were doing there. It's like, wow. Very very cool. Yep. And and speaking of, guess uh, guess who just showed up? Eric from Rocky Mountain Relics. Did he really? Yeah, speak, just popped speak, in. Speak of the speak devil. Of <laughs> Look, Eric, you come on. I just start talking about you. His ears were burning or I, something. I didn't even see you show up. That's a coincidence. We're just talking. We just watched. Oh the, if you missed, if you missed the video, I don't know. We we're just watching Florida Rob, and yep. we were watching a cool video he did. He found this like police badge, and uh, I was just telling the story about your detective's badge. So, uh, yeah, everyone, very, very everyone, cool. if you want to see that, click on those three dots next to Rocky Mountain Relics AT Pro, and head on over to his channel and check out this really cool detective's badge that he found one time. That was really cool. Absolutely. Absolutely. Down, Downstop Detective wants to know where he can buy one of your shirts. Hey, hold you. <laughs> I finally look and we'll see what kind of shirt you're wearing now. Oh my gosh. I don't, you know, I, I, I have them custom made. I don't have it set up on a website yet. Um, I've been waiting for, uh, for DK to help me uh, set up a website and, and, and all that opportunity. So it's in the works. It's, it's on my list. I have a long laundry list of, of what to do for, for the channel and stuff to, to get some swag out there, but uh, it's coming guys. It's yeah. coming. It's coming. I run my shirts and I, you know, I don't know right now I'm thinking it's a good way to go. And I've been talking yeah. to you about this. Yeah. You know, you got two choices when you're going to make shirts. If you want to make shirts for your channel, you either can, you either can, uh, you either can make a bunch and bring in a bunch of different sizes and right. hold a bunch of stock. And then as you sell them, send them out, or you yeah. can hook up with companies that make them upon demand. And, and, mm -hmm. uh, and that's kind of what I do as people want something uh you know either i can order that for them or get something out the door um if somebody if you go to my website adventuresanddirt.com yeah. there's a merchandise page there and I'll, you can do all kinds of stuff through this company this company i found so they actually take my logos so you take your logo and you upload your logo and if you click on the logo and you have about 300 things you can put it on. They're like, what oh, do you, you want? You want it on everything. Yeah, you want a coffee mug. You want stickers. You want a floor mat. <laughs> you know, lunch bo <laughs> lunch box. You want a, you want an Adventures in Dirt lunch box? You can get it. <laughs> but they take it. They they produce it. They put it all out, and they ship it. And I don't have to worry about that. You know I mean? I don't have to worry yeah. about that. The You know, people that uh, 
uh, receive uh, uh, my weekly dirt T-shirts yeah. uh, giveaways on my on my Digger Spotlight show. Yeah. You know, that's the way I do it. I'll just send them a thing, say, hey, send it out to this guy. He won he won this shirt, and they'll do it, and they'll get it within about a week. And uh, so far, it's been working out really well. That's awesome. Yeah, I definitely I definitely want to do that. I mean, I I bought a couple of them, got some for Caden. Um, got a couple for myself and stuff. So I just wanted to test it out, see if I like the product itself. And, and, uh, you know, Hey, if, if people want to get it, they can want to stick it on a hat. They want to stick it on, you know, a pair of shorts or a t-shirt or a sweatshirt. I mean, you guys can, you guys can do uh, any of that stuff that you want. So yeah. it, it's in the works for sure. I appreciate you asking about it, Zach. Yeah. Um, it, it's, it will be coming. It's on my list and, and maybe through uh, the winter time here, you know, we've got a little bit more time uh you know stuck inside down in the basement here maybe i'll uh, eventually get that thing set up so gotcha that'd be awesome anybody else in the chat here that just came in that we haven't seen <clears throat> thin blue diggers you said hi to him later uh, earlier yeah, yeah. how about detection connection detection connection we've talked about them earlier <laughs> how'd they sneak in <laughs> Don, he's like your shirt changes here. They just appear all of a sudden. It just happens, right? Hey, Don, welcome in. It's great to see you. We did feature Deja's video of when she went and, and dug with you up there in Ohio. So yeah. Ama um, amazing of you. And, you have to go back and watch this again. I know you've seen the video. Obviously, you lived it. You were there, but uh, yeah. yeah, great, great, great time up there, Don. Um, so cool mm -hmm. of you to take Deej out there. Amazing finds. Uh, she was, she was a little excited. You guys got on some good stuff out there. When am I coming? When am I going to Ohio? <laughs> I, I know Gosh. that the line is long. Yeah, now the line is long. Are you yeah, kidding? It's getting longer. I showed Tony digging with you, Don, and he got a two real and large sand, all kinds. I showed Deeds digging with you. She gets a half penny. It's like from yeah, the mid-1800s. Montreal, yeah. Uh, you know, what, what else? I mean, that the list is be long. Tell you what, do me a favor. Put me somewhere close to the top of the list. I appreciate that. My gosh, got to make my way to Ohio. Well, it's also not just what other people are finding. I tell you, the things that they find up there. Yeah, it, it's amazing. It's insane. It, absolutely insane. Yeah. It, it blows my blows my mind away. Um, and, and I'll tell you, it's not by luck. I, I will attest to that. It is not by luck. Don knows his stuff. Uh, and, and they're not just out there swinging uh, for the fences. Yeah, that's true, boy. Great channel, Don. Great channel. We love watching all your stuff. And uh yeah, very, very generous of you to invite some of these other people along to do these collaborations, definitely. Um, but if you're not a fan of Detection Connection, again, go head on over to his channel. He's right there in chat. Just head on over there and, and become a sub for sure if you're not already. Mr. Terry Solomon says that it's just in. We are beating the NASCAR championships race in the ratings, the weekly Dirt Live. Awesome. <laughs> hey, uh, I saw Aggie Hall. Aggie Hall's in the in the chat here, and and uh, she's near Columbus, Ohio. Look at that, Aggie Hall. Four people that we find from Ohio, which I just love. It's fantastic. Ohio is deep right? digger duo. He, oh, he found us. <laughs> oh, right there for you guys. <laughs> Tony, you're an old Ohio guy. I'm an Ohioan. Yes. Is that what you say, Ohioan? I don't know what they call them, an Ohioan. <laughs> Colorado, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> But Deep Digger Duo said he, he found a seated dime in Ohio. See? I guess that's the place we all have to go. Ohio's where it's at. Uh, and don't they, isn't that the, the CWPPO? Isn't that, uh, is. isn't that in Ohio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, I, and I think um, Aggie Hall there, she's involved with some things um, very heavily in the metal technic community in that area as well. So Is that right? Awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. I got to keep my Joe ear. Brown, look at that. Look at that. We're Buckeyes. Joe, Joe Brown. Yeah, yeah. Welcome, Joe. Hadn't seen you yet. Hey, thanks for coming on to the uh, to the live stream, checking it out. Yeah. So, I've what been, have uh, you got for the last clip here? Well, the last clip, uh, I was looking around on some things, and you know, one of my favorite channels out there uh, um, happens to be. Uh, what is it again? Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I've got the shirt. I should know. Check your notes. Check your notes. That's right. Dig oh, that. Yeah, I I didn't have the shirt on. That's what it was. I didn't. I didn't have a very good intro into it. Yeah, unless Tony's wearing the shirt, I don't get the tip <laughs> off. I don't know what's coming up next or anything. It's not fifty-two eighty adventures, unfortunately, Tony. I didn't feature your channel this week. No, nope, no. Nope. 
Actually, I got Dig That Beep. How many friend, fans of John up there? Dig That Beep, great channel. Always on some great stuff. Him and his hunting partner, Mike, out there uh, just tearing it up. And I'd love to say that John tore it up this weekend. He did. He found some great stuff. You watched the video. Here's the, tr here's the trouble with me featuring Dig That Beep. I have trouble with it every time I want to feature them is in their videos, they show probably about 70 finds, it seems like, of, of just some great silvers and stuff they find. They pull out these yards. Uh, I think they were at an old World War II airstrip uh, this week, and i tell you what, his buddy Mike got on some silver, and he just kept going. He just kept going. Check this out this week from Dig That Beep. Watch this. Walk over to Mike, and we had a military base, and he thinks he's got a silver thimble. I'll let you get it out from the monitors. Look at this. Dude, you know that's silver. Let me feel it. Oh, yeah. Good night. Mike, I think that's going to be silver. I mean, it's a little bit light. It could be aluminum, but it's wiping off, man. Rub it. That's silver all that day. Is silver, God! Oh yeah, that's big, dude. Go ahead, bro. Look at that. Oh, dude. No, I ain't foreign either. That's, that's a, an eagle. That's, that's a walker. Eagle. I think that's a walker, Mike. That's a half. That's a silver half dollar. Good. Walking Liberty. God. <laughs> <laughs> Third Look at half second walker. God. That'll change your day around. Oh, Mike, awesome job, man. Right the this. Look at that. There's the plug of the first one. And look at this. Right next to it, man. That is incredible. Go ahead and get it. Good God. What year? 45. 45. 43 and a 45 walker side by side. Mike, that is insane, that dude. That is crazy, dude. This guy's killing it. He's still down here in this corner. And look at this. Just pop that out. Grab it, John. See what it is. It's gonna be a Merc, Mike. Forty-four. Sweet. You are on fire, man. Thank you. But I, I'll show you. I just got this on surface, and it was screaming, man. But it's a really cool buckle. I can see. This part right here is still on top of the ground, so I don't know how old it is or what, but maybe it just didn't sink because it's so big, man. But that's really cool. Wow, John and Mike, congratulations. <laughs> Dig that beep. What an amazing, amazing video that was. So many finds. Can you believe that? Walker after walker. Right. Silver dimes, silver thimble, and then pretty cool buckle at the end, I thought. That buckle's awesome. Yeah, I'd love to have that buckle. Pretty cool. That, Cleaned that, up real well. That was a snippet of what they found. I mean, that's not even – it's insane. Yeah, that was amazing. Great, great video. Hey, who snuck in while we were on that clip? Uh, let's see here. Uh, hunting history. Hunting history. What is going on? Thanks How you doing, bud? On. Yeah, hey, thanks for coming in. Appreciate you showing up here for the, the weekly dirt. Yeah, we just uh, hit over about an hour and stuff, and uh, pretty good, pretty good uh, show. I love this live format. I love to be able to interact with the people in chat. Uh, gives us a chance to kind of talk and 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 talk to people in chat. What? Um, did anybody find any silvers this week? And you know, go ahead and throw it out there in the chat if you guys find any kind of silvers this week. Yeah, it just says Darnell got his first Morgan last week. First Morgan, boy. Um, uh, I've gotten a half, I've gotten a half dollar. It wasn't a silver one. It was at a school. So some kid had, uh, you know, brought it to show it off and lost it on the playground. But can you imagine finding a Morgan? No, I just can't. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do. I don't know right? what I'd do if I found a Morgan. I, 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 That's a great find. That is a great find. Great, great find. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. Big silver, especially two of them, right? Right. Yeah. Florida and, and he got to Walker yesterday. <laughs> I, you know what I, I i will say something i am really happy to see darnell getting get showing us again what he's been finding i know they took a little hiatus there and, and 
And uh, I'm so happy to see Darnell back out there and picks, I mean, picks up right where he left off. My gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Darnell. Hey, Tony, thanks for saying that. Cause that, that is true, man. Thank you for coming back. And uh, you know, I understand everyone's got to take a break from that, yeah. uh, now and then, but boy, you came back, you got on that amphibio and now you're just, you're just hitting it so strong. Danny dirt is in the house. Found a 1914 barber dime just about six, six hour hours ago. ago. How's that I think for... that's probably the, the the most recent find. That's the the, the baby find right here. Just just happened. <laughs> that is it. MG got a dollar four in the coin star. <laughs> hey, I'll take that. I'll take it. That's <laughs> it's on your way to a battery right there. How about Zach with the seated dime? Eighteen seventy five seated dime. So even after we we show the clip of all of these other things that he finds, a barber quarter, <laughs> seated quarter. Yeah. What does he bust out yesterday? Seventy five seated dime. My gosh. Hey, Terry Solomon. Hate to see you go, but uh, understand, thanks for showing up. Thanks for interacting with the chat. Appreciate it. Everyone head on over to Mr. Terry Solomon's channel. If you haven't ever checked it out, he's got a lot of cool stuff going on there uh, as well. So we'll catch you next week. Thanks for supporting the channel. Appreciate it. Very, very cool. <clears throat> hey, Tony, uh, let's, uh, you want to get to some announcements? Let's get to some announcements here. Hold on. <laughs> Hey, what you got? Well, we're going to start out the announcements. We, 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 you know, there's a whole bunch of different things that DK always shows. Um, the things that I really like are our giveaways, right? Such a, an unbelievable community here of, of always giving back to everybody else. This week, we've got Golden Pay Dirt Reviews. If you guys haven't checked that out, hold it, head over to Golden Pay Dirt Reviews. Um, if you're into uh, gold panning, uh, those kind of different things. Um, they do a whole bunch of different uh, reviews of different pay dirt that you can buy. Um, Golden Pay Dirt Reviews has a 1,000 sub giveaway, um, giving away a whole bunch of different coins, uh, just a whole bunch of a whole bunch of things. A thousand subs, yeah. that's a feat in of itself. A thousand subs, amazing job. Amazing. Golden Pay Dirt Reviews, a thousand giveaway, thousand sub giveaway. Wow! Uh, make sure you get in on that, and I know that you're going to have after this is done the description. Uh, in the description below, you have a link over to that particular uh, giveaway. Yeah, I will. And, you know, I didn't want to put it up ahead of time, but yep. I'll put links to all that down below. Uh, congratulations, Golden Pay Dirt, uh, <clears throat> Golden Pay Dirt Reviews. Congratulations, thousand subs. That's thousand always subs. fun to get to. And uh, Absolutely. Uh, everyone should go support his channel. Get in on that giveaway. Follow the rules, and you win something great, I'm sure. I'm already uh, in on it. Yeah. <laughs> You know who else is having a pretty good give a cool giveaway is Stealth Diggers. Stealth Diggers this week is having a pretty cool giveaway. They're giving away one of their uh, Boss EDC pry bar field tools. I don't know if you guys have seen these, but these are little pry tools that uh, uh, Charlie makes over there at Stealth Diggers. And, boy, they're just used for all kinds of stuff. They uh, they uh, are used for, you know, digging out roots, getting around roots, prying stuff free. And they're going to give one away. So I'll, I'll put the link down below to this video right here, uh, getting over to uh, Stealth Diggers and get in on this giveaway. Uh, I'll put the link down below. And you just got to follow the rules and see what uh, he is asking you to do there to get in on it. It's a pretty darn good giveaway. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, I know I'm going to get in on it. So you all it's should get in awesome. on it as well. It's the big one. It's a really nice tool there. Yeah. Yep. Very, very cool. Uh, well, hey. hey we've got something entirely different here. We've got something that's going on on Facebook. Um, I came across, and I don't remember if, if Ken came across or I came across first, but it's called the great metal detecting Christmas giveaway. And uh, we've got uh, somebody who's opened up this new Facebook page uh, for a Christmas giveaway for kids from five to 15 years old. Um, you guys head over to your Facebook, get on your Facebook, head over to the great metal detecting Christmas giveaway for kids five to 15 years old whole bunch of different prizes um that have all been offered up uh donated i know the 5280 adventures has got a package that's in there um all the packages are going to have different numbers once we get a little bit closer to christmas the no those numbers are going to be drawn and the winners um, we're just sending out all of these prizes to all of these kids uh, to encourage them to get into metal detecting and those kind of different things so the great metal detecting christmas giveaway it's amazing um, on facebook it is an is awesome yep. i'll put how... i'll put the link down below i don't have a, yeah. i don't have it up on my browser right now but i'll tell you what one amazing thing i saw this thing when it first came out and it just had maybe 10 people or so in the group yeah. at the time i think they were giving away a metal detector a yes. metal detector a. 
And, at that time. Yeah, and they just said, hey, it's for young kids, you know, 5 to 15, blah, blah, blah. What a great idea, right? Well, hey, you all know, we all talk about it. This metal detecting community are some great people involved, and they just jumped on it. And all these different channels are throwing in stuff. And I, I don't know how many metal detectors are up to right now, but it, it's amazing. It could, be, it could be up to two, you know, two hands. I think at least five detectors are... Are, are set to be given away on that thing. Right. Tons of prize packs like you talked about. Uh, you were gracious enough to throw one in there. Uh, there's just all kinds of great, great gifts. Some kids are going to have some great, great Christmas and great, yes. great fun this, uh, this year. Uh, so if you're not involved, go on and become involved. Just get into the group. Or maybe you have uh, one of your kids or, yes. or friends of yours have kids that want to get into the hobby between 5 and 15-year-old. Just go over there. There's rules on there. You have to follow and kind of what you have to do to get involved. Uh, but the link will be down to lo below after I finish uh, we've the live stream. I'll work on getting all the links updated and stuff. Um, and something a little bit different this time. It's on Facebook this time. So. Yeah, Facebook. Yep. Very, very cool. Guys, make sure, make sure you check that out. Make sure if you've got somebody that you want to, uh, you know, have possibly win a prize, you know, make sure you get involved with it. So, yeah. Hey, speaking of Facebook, um, uh, there's something cool coming up. Uh, you know, Thanksgiving's coming up. And on Thanksgiving night, um, yes. uh, Loy and Jeff over at Relics Radio, Saving History with uh, – <clears throat> I'm sorry. <laughs> Relics Radio is with uh, uh, Digging with Seven. I can get his yeah. – said Loy, and it threw me off. <clears throat> Loy and Jeff over there, Digging with Seven, Relics Radio, Thursday night, November 22nd. Should be a lot of fun. They're doing a Thanksgiving giveaway show. You know, for all the people that had uh, Relics Radio shirts like Tony had on earlier that were able to take a picture of themselves in their shirts, they sent them in. They put them on this one uh, comment on this one post, and they're going to pull somebody from that list and give them away some uh, a pin pointer and uh, some cool, I think, a hoodie, some cool yeah. stuff. So, hey, if, uh, you know, you guys are all full and the family's all left and you're just sitting there wondering what to do, uh, Thanksgiving evening you know turn the radio on in the back put your put your speakers on and listen to relics radio at 8 p.m eastern it's on spreaker spreaker.com is a podcast thing so you can find them over on facebook just type in relics radio to any web browser or any kind of facebook thing and you should be able to find those guys and find that show should be a lot I will of fun be tuning into that one i love listening to uh seven and, and tennessee jeff on their great radio show and giving away a, a pinpointer? Heck, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's pretty good. Cool. Radio. Lincoln Central Coins in the house. <clears throat> Coming in, sneaking in on us. The life and times of Barney Taylor. Hey, man, what is up? Thank you for I joining saw, us. I saw Youper Digger 57 also popped in. Oh, is that right? Awesome. Hey, Youper Digger, good to see you, bud. Uh, Skull Duggery Treasure Hunting. Oh, awesome. Yeah, some of you snuck in here while we were doing a bunch of talking. It's hard to watch the chat and talk at the same it's time. Difficult. And you know, I guess <laughs> I could just talk to you like this and watch the chat the entire time. But that probably wouldn't no, be no, good. No, no, no. We don't probably... need to see what's up your nose. <laughs> in my ear. That's what these, <laughs> these are for. I cover what's in my ear. All the hair. It's funny. Well, hey, man. Thank you for helping me uh, do this live stream uh, on the Weekly Dirt and being my co-host. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. I've yeah. had a great time. And, and I think you've got uh, one more special little announcement here. I do. I do. Yeah. A lot of you know that. Uh, Look at that shirt. Anybody see that hey. shirt? What does that say? Zero discrimination on YouTube. Yeah. How many fans of zero discrimination? Boy, I know I started watching her channel a long time ago. Well, a long time ago, a couple of years ago, and really have enjoyed it uh, tremendously. And for those of you that aren't familiar, I'll tell you right now, I've started to do a live stream interview show called Digger Spotlight. I try to put on two, two a month is right now what I'm able to pull off with my timing and my schedule. Uh, two a month, beginning of the month, end of the month, kind of like this, and I'll feature notable diggers from our community to come on with me and just have a little chat, have some conversation, take some questions from the chat room, uh, can do some interactions. We usually do a giveaway or so. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Well, last week we had a, a, a plug master Ford. Uh, we've had green mountain metal detecting on, we've had uh, saving history with SC digger. We've had a number of people on Tony's been on Mike Lyman's been on uh, just some great diggers in our community. I want to continue to bring you, bring them on and, and show them to you and have interaction with the chat and get uh, get the get some one on one with them. And my next guest, my next guest on November twenty eighth, it's a Wednesday night, eight p.m. Eastern, is Gypsy from Zero Discrimination. I don't have a graphic to put up, but I'll put the link down below. 
there's the graphic right there, right there in the shirt. Uh, but it should be an awesome time. She's going to come on live with me. She's grace enough to share her time with me. And we're going to have a great time. Yeah, we're going to ask some questions. and That's going to be a great interview. Yeah. Great, great interview. I, I met Gypsy uh, a while ago, and uh, we had a great weekend together at Diggin. And I look really looking forward to that interview. That interview is going to be killer. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun. So, yeah. Gypsy, if you're watching, looking forward to it. Absolutely. Um uh, and uh, some great guests coming up after after Gypsy as well into the new year. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that series taking off. And I hope you all enjoy it. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking of the Weekly Dirt, the Digger Spotlight, the Adventures in Dirt channel. You know, any questions you might have. And if you have any interest in doing what Tony's done today and being a co-host here on the live versions of the Weekly Dirt, send me an email at dk at adventures and dirt.com i'll put my email down below and we can start talking about it and see if it's something that'll work out between us but tony man thanks thank you so much I for man i appreciate this has been so much fun i love i mean i love talking about metal detecting you know that yeah, so that's it, right. it's kind of a no-brainer when you ask me if you know hey you available absolutely right you know to interact with the chat you know see some incredible finds this week and uh you know just hang out have a good time it's it's, it's awesome Awesome. Thank yeah. you so much for having me. Absolutely. Anything you want to say in parting to uh, any of the people in chat? No, just be safe out there. Um, keep those videos coming out. You never know. Maybe next week you guys will be on the, on the weekly dirt and uh, you know, give it, give us something to watch here, you know, give us some, some lots of videos to, to push through and, and uh, Hey, you never know. You right. never know. Yeah. Well, hey, man, thank you so much. And I just want to say thanks to everyone that showed up in chat and interacted with us and gave us a little bit of your Sunday. That's awesome. And for those of you that are watching the replay, hey, give me a thumbs up or give me a comment down below. Just let me know what you're thinking. Give me a thumbs down, too. I don't care. But let me know what you're thinking of the series. Let me know if you'd like to see more of these live streams, what we could do better, what we could always improve on. I always appreciate that. But, hey, I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. I'm going to go ahead and run a about a one-minute thing. You finish up your conversations. But, everyone, thanks for coming. I'm DK with Adventures in Dirt. He's Tony with 5280 Adventures. I would like to say thanks for coming along. See you next week.